Hello, 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 everyone. It is Thursday night. It is 8 p.m. And y'all know what that means. It's another episode of Between Two Beards. Right here on Love Wrestling CA, right on our Twitch channel. Glad to see everyone back. More importantly, you know, I've been, I wasn't on All Elite Sidecast last night. The shoot job has been kind of driving me crazy. A little insane the last few weeks, but plug up. Yeah, what the hell, man? Show up. How are you, man? How are you? I'm doing well, brother. It is Thursday night. It's a double feature Thursday as we got quiz plus popping up at nine o'clock. So you only get us for the hour. So you better get your comments, your questions, your statements in. Mm Because my boy, Kyle Davis, Kyle Davis, the GOAT. Is on Quizplex tonight. I sent him over the answers. He's going to dominate. Yeah, there we, we go. Have Spencer hop in to cover. Yeah, I heard he had to hop in right his in the main beard, event. His beard game is lacking, but you, you know, know he had some dynamite insight. I, I see what you did there. I hey. see what you did there. Uh, he says, "You know, I build by appearance, not by hour." Well, that send is it true. to our boss. Yeah, you got to send it to the Love Wrestling CA uh, accountant. Tara accountant, will take care of it. Yes. And they'll take care of that for sure. But uh Allison, Allison Taron got that a lot. <laughs> That's what I hear. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, but we yes, like as Plugo was saying, we do have the hard hour tonight because live at 9 p.m. here on this very channel. So do not leave once we end. Uh, we will have Quizplex, and we do have a special guest on Quizplex tonight, and that special guest is one. Really? Well, there are three special guests, but Kyle Davis. Friend of the show, friend of Plugo, yeah. um, will be one of the contestants on Quiz Play. The tonight. Fitz, so. the L, the Love Pro Wrestling f- official, the Fitz, yeah, Stuart Garvey. There you go, another official. Yeah, but listen, no offense to Fitz, no offense to Stuart. I'm I'm riding with my dude, my dude Kyle yeah. Davis. That's my guy. Fair enough. Ride or die. All I know is the people on NWA need to treat him better when he's doing interviews. Don't be putting your hands on my my boys. Why? Suit. Oh, did he get into a physical altercation? Is people that what just, happened? Did people he get his just always kicked? because he's been bald. They be touching his head. They always be pulling at his like suit when they like Not they're nice. trying to intimidate Kyle. Kyle will mess them up. Maybe he might. I'm, I'm writing checks that Kyle's ass might not be able to cash, <laughs> but hey, that's what I do. Anyway, that yeah, is at nine up. o'clock. Oh yeah. But we got some stuff to talk about. We tonight. do. We got. Yeah, I, I, I'll ask you. What do you want to start with? How Kyrie do you want to start Irving. this? Oh. <laughs> two two zero oh, two two zero. Oh. It's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, flipping two, the bird oh. to the fan. And it, no, I want to talk about. Let's talk about Tony Khan. And the big announcement. The big announcement. Yeah, he forbidden a door. Bombshell. Yes, he us. did. We are having ourselves a combined pay per view. Oh, or p- combined special event, as I should say, with All Elite Wrestling and New Japan coming together. I believe what did they say it was June 26th, July 26th, June 26th, 26th, in, 26th Chicago. in Chicago at the United Center, where they sold out before for the return, the arrival of CM Punk in AEW. Um, I'm expecting yeah. big things. I wouldn't be shocked if this is somewhere around the return, the return or the return of Kenny Omega. 
-hmm. and all sorts of things. But like, you know, you've seen on Twitter since they announced it last night, everyone throwing out their dream cards, their dream matches. What are we going to get? Is it going to be AEW versus New Japan in every match? Or is it just going to be an event with both people? But as we've seen, I mean, Tony Khan has not shied away since the really the founding of AEW to bring in other people from other promotions. We've had New Japan wrestlers on AEW television already, Impact people, MLW people. We've had people from everywhere show up on AEW television. Um, but this is the first time that we're getting an actual event where it is being billed as this is two companies coming together to work together to have this event. And it is a big time deal. And the way that they announced it with Adam Cole fighting Ishii on Rampage tomorrow night for an Owen Hart qualifier, all that stuff. Um, yeah, dude, it's a big, big time deal. It's a big, oh, big yeah. time deal. How are we feeling about it? How are you feeling about it? Plug I feel good about it. Like I said, I, I said last night, I was like, my goodness, like this is what Tony Khan does. He's just giving us all this dream stuff. I did think it was kind of funny to bring the president of New Japan Pro Wrestling all the way to Pittsburgh just to have him walk out, not do anything, mm -hmm. and have Adam Cole take over. But I digress. I do hope that they uh, get involved and get some women's matches on that card. Maybe they, you know, I know they're leaning heavy in the New Japan. Hopefully they get uh, stardom involved or something. We'd love to see some of those crossover matchups. Or hell, since it's called Forbidden Door, just blow that thing wide open and give me Diana, give me Britt. Yeah, get them you all. Know, on there. Get not? them all on there. But it's and yeah, I know. Last night, a couple of the fans uh, and the all elite sidecast said that you know uh, Kenny's not going to be ready. He just had shoulder surgery. That I I feel like it'd be a weird vibe to not have him there or available to do something. If he doesn't wrestle, he's got to be there because he's so integral in the New Japan is like embedded in his mm -hmm. history. It would be silly for him to not be there. So I hope that he's ready to go in some capacity. Cause that would be amazing. Uh, it would be. And, but I do agree with you though. Even if he's not physically ready to wrestle, maybe I wouldn't be shocked if he at least shows up. Maybe he shows up right. and has a stare down to, you know, maybe book a match in future when he is right. ready. But like yeah. you said, it would be very weird if on an AEW new Japan co promoting show that you have the one guy that is kind of synonymous with both. Right. Kind of more than anybody. You know what I mean? I feel like Omega is that guy, you know? Um, plus, like, who doesn't want to see him have a stare down with Okada? Right. Or a stare yeah. down with Ibushi or something like that, you know? So it's like, ooh, even if he can't wrestle, it's like, ooh, all right, maybe in future. Maybe right. in future we'll finally get that Omega Ibushi match that everybody wants or another go around with Omega and Okada. Like, there's so much you can do. You know? I feel like you're you're opening this door and this partnership. I can't imagine it's just a one-off deal. I, I feel would like, agree. I feel like you're going to work together. I hope to see some AEW talent in New Japan, vice versa. Mm -hmm. I know New Japan is trying to get that foothold over here in America. Yep. So this definitely helps the crossover appeal for them. It's a big deal. I'm just like, hey, you know what? Hate all you want. The man just keeps going. You know what? Here, here. You wanted it. You got it. You want it. You I agree. It. Like doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't stop. When does he yeah. run out of things to do? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, my thing is like, yeah, dude, he's he, like you said, he is a wrestling fan at heart, and he's just like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep on, just keep on, just is. doing what I'm doing, and I'm gonna give these wrestling fans to like, it almost feels like too much. Like, oh, this is too much. Yeah, you're just doing these things over and over again, like to blow our wrestling minds, you know? And it's one of those things where. I can't even. Oh. What were you gonna try to sneak him on in? I was. <laughs> <laughs> Smart uh, mouth is setting up for Quiz Flex, and he popped in for a second. I was gonna throw him on screen just. Like <laughs> but I, I, I don't know. I almost feel like, and it's gonna happen on social media because social media is a cesspool at the end of it. But like, I feel like people just find certain things to complain about just to complain. It's like, why don't you just be quiet and just be happy that like all this crazy shit is happening and like we're yeah. wrestling fans and we get to enjoy all this stuff. Like if we yeah. end up seeing a uh, Will Ospreay versus. Oh, I forgot uh, about Will who, Ospreay. Whoever, what, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you end up seeing the young, whatever, you're going to get all these big time potential dream matchups with AEW and new Japan and everyone, 
you just, just there's just a certain segment of people that are always just like, wow, well, why is he doing this and doing it? It's like, dude, just you're a wrestling fan, right? Or just don't be quiet and enjoy it. it. Just be quiet and enjoy just, it. And let's like, just, and let's just makes talk no about sense. for a second. Like that stretch of time is gonna be insanity. You're gonna have oh, double, yeah. you're gonna have double or nothing. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have SummerSlam. You're gonna well, have money the, in the bank. You have money, money in the, in the bank. bank. The Forbidden Door. And then, and then SummerSlam's in July this year, I think. It's yeah, not in and August. Then they're doing a stadium show in the UK. Yeah, Cardiff, right? Cardiff. Right. They're like doing that. a stadium show in Cardiff. And then that all outs around that time, too. It's just going to be a. Like that summer, summer is going to be like a summer of wrestling. It's like, dude, like re- whether you are pro AEW and anti WWE or the other way around, or you like are us, where like at least I feel like you and I, we both favor AEW, but we. Uh oh. Uh, you froze for a second. I was like, "Hey, plug o goes." Um, are you sure? I just might have. I might have just zoned out. <laughs> no, no. But like you and I are very pro. I think we lean more towards AEW, but we still watch WWE and want WWE to be like. Yeah. There's going to be so much wrestling and big time shows and big time opportunities to go to big time shows and be a part of what seems to be like this. This to me, 2022. It seems like this is the year of the like the official return to wrestling with fans and yeah. like it feels like this summer all these companies are like balling out and they're like you know what we haven't had to we haven't been able to have really any of these big ass shows for the last couple of years for obvious reasons so guess what this summer we're gonna have fucking ten of them and we're we just should. gonna have That's ten awesome. of them and yes and that rules them. that rules and my then, problem is is like Chicago I'm like right there Chicago's not too far I have a I probably won't score a ticket. Why not? And I mean, you got to be on the boom. You got to be. Yeah, so be on the boom. Maybe I don't be ready. To, and then the SummerSlam is in like Nashville, which is Nashville, too, which isn't too far from me either. Hmm. I'd be down for a SummerSlam trip. I'm just yeah, oh, well, maybe I'd be we down talk. for a SummerSlam <laughs> trip. And here we go. As it's all about the says, boom. It's all about the booms. Uh, and HCW Sports, good to see you, friends. Yes. Speaking um, of which, they've got a show. Well, here you go. Next weekend. Talk about it. Promote that in shit. South Bend are doing an unsanctioned strap match. I think that's dangerous. But hey, I hey. love a good strap match. The Who doesn't like a strap match, my, bro? Chip the Manimal Walkers, my dudes. Shout out HCW Sports. I'm hoping I can get out to that. I got to check the old schedule. There you go. And we got and Astro They're saying in. that so far the local shows have been lit. And then we got. Yep. Our friend, our girl Astrid, popping in and saying, "Hey, friends, sorry I missed you last night too. I missed you guys. I would have yeah. much rather been Astrid watching Dynamite to, than doing what I was doing." So Astrid had to try to reel me in last night and had to enlist the uh, services of Mrs. Plugo to like come in and yell. Yeah, nobody on reels her them behalf. in quite like I do. You know, so <laughs> I said Mrs. Plugo, and she, she well, was like, probably she's, she's yeah. probably better at it than me, but yeah. I feel like I'm one A. So yeah, you know, gets off the wall. It gets off the wall, but no, yeah, like an HW Sports. I gotta say, it local shows are lit. The indie scene is on fire because, again, as much as we hate talking about releases, all those releases they supplemented that indie scene a lot, and it like it's like saturated now with amazing talent. The Asylum Strand, not exactly not sanctioned by you, but it's gonna be at your event. Yeah, that means that it's happening, but they're not sanctioning it. So whatever happens to those yeah, competitors, happened, they're, they're, that's on them. That's on them. But we that yeah. So again, yeah, and like this Saturday, I'm going to Warrior Wrestling in South Bend. That card is stacked. You get Will Osprey, Blake Christensen, Athena's gonna be there. Like it, and Thunder Rose is gonna be there. It's just a great time in wrestling. Like everybody's just balling out because guess what? We get fans. They can come back to the, sta- the stadiums, the venues, everything. So why not throw your best at it? Yep, yep, you got Mrs. Plugo support. She never takes my side. She's always just mm-hmm. like, whatever. Clean up when you're done, because I like spit take everywhere and stuff, you know. Yeah, oh, I got you. I got you. But no, oh, but no, if, if you're in the chat, in the comments, let us know what you want to see. Like, this summer is going to be nuts. What do you want to see from the Forbidden Door pay-per-view? Again, I really want to see them get some women's uh, representation on that card, and I hope that they come out swinging. Yeah, 100%. And um, if you're also in the chat, we need, uh, in order to end this show, the last 20, 25 minutes or so, we need a draft topic. We put we put a feeler out on the Twitter earlier today, but we didn't get many responses. So if you're here, throw some ideas for a draft uh, yeah. in the chat, and Plugo and I on the fly will have a draft <laughs> to end this show in the last, oh, best, that fiction, I, best fictional bears. Are there 10 of them? <laughs> I could probably name... 
I can name a few. Are there 10? Yogi? Unless you went through all the Care Bears. If you went through like all the different Care Bears, maybe <laughs> you could get to 10. Bear Grylls? Does that count? Is he fictional? Is he fictional? That's a human. Is he That's fictional? Human being. But is that show real or staged? Is <laughs> Open to interpretation. <laughs> the uh, bear? Bad News Bears. That's a team, though. Are the Chicago Bears technically I, fictional, then? I just watched uh, Dr. Doolittle 2. Oh, look at this. I like day. I like where your head's at, Lawrence. It's the FTR yeah, of Love baby. Wrestling. hey -o. Except, oh, I do want to talk about that for a little bit. We're not fighting each other one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, that uh, was, and we talked about it last night. I know where you're going. They just threw that, like, in the, like, This slides. is three weeks in a row. They're just like, hey, it's by the way. It's three weeks in a row that they are announcing. They, they start going through the lineups of the shows, and they throw in a banger yeah, just, out of nowhere. Three weeks way, in a row. getting Cash versus Dax on a one-on-one -on -one yeah, matchup. They, did it, they did it at the rampage I was at. They were like, oh, yeah, we got this coming up. We got this coming up. And by the way, uh, Minoru Suzuki is going to be defending the title against Samoa Joe. And everyone was like, excuse me? You just threw that in there? Right. They had uh, they had Suzuki <laughs> wrestle on dark. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like what? What? It? Hey, and then I feel like they just hopped in the chat. We're talking bears. We're talking. Well, you could do you could do favorite. I would say favorite superhero movies would be oh, that one. If I we're am, combined, uh oh, I would be out on that. Jesus I, Christ, Plugger, what do you do with your life? We have kids I've seen or something. The, I've seen oh. the Dark Knight. Yeah, is free is Free Guy technically a, a superhero? I haven't seen that. You haven't seen Three the Avengers? So no. Thor. No. Iron Man. Nope. Fantastic Four. Nope. Black Panther. Nope. Racist. <laughs> Absolutely racist. What the How the hell could you have me? not seen the Black Panther? Put that on tape. That movie was nominated for Best no. Picture. For Best Picture. Ooh, top ten. What about uh People's Sexiest Man Alive? I am the People's Sexiest Man Alive. George Spencer. Clooney. Yeah. Paul Rudd. Well, I think Joe. So, comic book. I would say we could go comic book movies then, because I do seen, think the Joker. I've seen the Dark Knight. That's it. That's the only one. Yes. You've never seen the original Batman's with Michael Keaton. No. What do you do? You not watch movies? Like what? What's the deal here? Oh, game shows. You want to do game shows? That's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. You want to do that one? Yeah, let's that's, do that. All right, that's a leader. That's if I you can... still got it, oh, Adult Swim cartoon characters is a really good that's one, That's a good one, too. I that's a good one, too. That, Keep maybe. throwing them out, but I feel like game shows. Is in the lead? That's in the lead. I think that's a leader in the clubhouse right now, but I and do listen, like comic book movies. we can't let Spencer win, or... so somebody come with something better. I, I do like comic book movies, or we could do maybe comic book characters. If you, you would win the that movies. hands down. I'd be like, what about characters? You know, you know, you have to at least know plenty of the comic book characters. Just because I know who Spider Man is doesn't mean I know if he's any good. Oh my god, what is Batman? You is see what I'm dealing with? People? Is he technically a superhero? Because he's yes, he's just a, he's got no superpower. He's just he's, he's just, just he's got rich. more money. He, he's he's a yeah. rich guy. That's how that's why I know a, that what, Batman. What's your superpower? I'm rich. <laughs> All right. Like I've never um, seen Star Wars or like what any the of that. Fuck? What? Yeah, bro. How? Like, How is this possible? How have you never seen Star Wars? It just never comes up, man. What do you mean it never comes up? It's on TV every other month. I know. I just never seen it. Never comes just, up. What does that mean? It's not what I'm into, man. Star Wars? <laughs> Star Wars. Yeah. You know, I've, you know who's I've in seen, Star Wars? I've seen everyone. I've seen Spaceballs though. Spaceballs is fine, but you space. So you've seen Spaceballs, but you don't even know the re the real reason why Spaceballs is funny, because no. you haven't seen fucking Star Wars. That's why I didn't get it when I watched it. I was like, "What is Jesus? That? What is happening over here?" I get Star the Wars. They're in space and they kill people in white suits. HCW. I mean, I'm not disagreeing. Yeah, I'm dude. Disagreeing. I'm, I, listen, that's like how I does that ha how does that happen? I don't know. It's just when I was younger, I just was not it. I was into sports and wrestling and like, I just, I like what I like. I gravitate to different things and that just wasn't one of them. And I just never rectified that. Never seen it. Not even with your kids. Like you haven't watched Star Wars with your kids, like the older ones. Uh, -uh. my That'd kids, my kids have gone and seen the Star no Wars. No shit. I, I the Star gone. Wars. I haven't seen it. They go with their mother. I hadn't seen it. I'm like, all yeah. right. Spencer saying this is perhaps the most upsetting episode of B2B ever, and you haven't even spent the money yet. 
<laughs> and Ashford saying B2B canceled. HDW oh. saying suspend him for two weeks. <laughs> That's how we're writing him off for his heel turn. <laughs> like, uh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to come he back. hasn't with... seen any comic book movies. Never seen Star Wars. I'm going to come back with have no you seen beard. The, have you seen Back to the Johan. Futures? Yes. Those are fantastic. One of the best trilogies. Indiana Jones. I've seen the first one. But it's Godfather. Been like... Nope. <laughs> nope. I, I, I don't know. I feel like we I can do it. We can I feel do like it. I don't even know yeah, you. Yeah, we can do a whole I feel show like I don't even know I've you. I've never seen. I feel like I I'll don't come even back, know you. I'll come back without a beard and they'll call me uh like uh you guys will start calling me like Plugo and I'll be like, I'm Plu I'm Plugo's younger brother. Lawrence has, Lawrence has your back. He says uh let Plugo live. Thank let you. Plugo live. Listen, it's my wife actually, she Mrs. Plugo has a has a list. Yeah. Uh, I have a lover. list of movies that I need to see, and it's very long. I just I like what I like. My favorite trilogy is the Mighty Ducks. I why would you watch anything else? Like I don't know, because we're I, 35 like the years last... old and not children anymore. <laughs> maybe I don't the, know. the last movie I watched last night, I watched A League of Their Own. That's a great movie. I know. I watched that. I watched 42 this year. Yeah, weekend. but how many times have you seen A League of Their Own? Probably like 100 plus times. Can't blame you. Amazing movie. Yeah, it's Amazing fantastic. movie. But why, instead of watching A League of Their Own for the 100th time, you didn't watch a Star Wars movie for the first time? <laughs> or Avengers. Or... <laughs> Again, and I'm not even. Okay, like, so let me I'm, break I'm, this I'm down. I'm not going to sit here and By pretend time... that I'm a big comic. Like I'm behind on the Marvel. Like I haven't even seen the last Avengers. Movie. So like I'm not going to sit here and pretend that like I'm up to snuff. Yeah. But I've seen enough of the movies that I could have a ten round draft and be more than. I okay. mean, I'll pick characters, but I don't know if they're good. I'll say this. So, like, I watch how I watch program, especially movies. Is a lot of times it's by it's the end of the night. I've had kids for. Some movies you can't watch for, you know, you know, I, anyway, so like, I, I can't, I can't like tonight after we're done and it's time for old Plugo to go to bed. I, I cannot start a brand new movie I've never seen because I will want to stay up and watch it and I can't. So I, I just go to the well every time and watch, like I watch pretty much how I met your mother every night before I fall asleep, like, or a combination of that or like friends or something, just Seinfeld things that I've seen. And then, you know, I go throughout my day. And then wrestling's on, and then you watch wrestling all night. I'm not going to start Star Wars, a three-hour movie, at 11 o'clock at night, JPJ. I got kids, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So shit happens. <laughs> anyway. I love that Astrid said if you, she if you doesn't just got here, I love if you that just Astrid got here, said she doesn't believe me. If, if, you're, if you're a little late, you're running a little late. Here, I'm going to pop I know we're twenty. Me. I know we're 20 minutes in. I am not Plugo making this up. But has never seen Star Wars. I am 100% Never. not making that up. You can ask. Star Wars is a set of movies that have been released in the theaters. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I might have saw some of the one with like the pod racers. Yeah, that, that was the worst one. Yeah, But maybe that's why you never seen them, because you saw that one first and you were like, no, I'm good with this. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, that's going to become a thing like that. Holy moly. I just holy yeah. moly. I cannot believe you've never seen Star Wars. I cannot not, believe it. I'm not cannot believe that. it. But I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff I've seen that you're probably like, I, I've never seen that. No. No, you've seen everything? I've seen a lot. So have I. Just no. not you those... seen Star Wars, bro. That's three movies. It's nine. Is it it's nine, nine movies? Fuck. It's nine movies. <laughs> it's nine movies. Yeah, I would have accepted six. But it's nine. nine movies. That's all. Yeah, that's... there's the original three, Ooh. then the prequel that they released in the early 2000s, and then the three most recent. That I've seen Fanboys. Fanboys is a good movie. Yeah, but, but how again, does that make sense to you? I not seeing Star Wars. Again, so you've seen I... Spaceballs and Fanboys, two movies that directly one is a parody of of Star Wars, yep. and one is about fans obsessed with Star Wars. Yeah. So you've I'm seen a... those two movies, <laughs> but you've I... never seen the movies yeah, that no. are the reason that those two movies exist. Nope. Okay. I'm a All very right. com right. I'm a very complex individual. Apparently. Apparently. 
<laughs> Holy God. We've been talking about movies for 15 minutes now because I cannot believe you haven't seen Star Wars. You name it, I probably have seen it. That's just how it Lord is. Lord of the Rings. Nope. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm not, I'm not obsessed with those. The but one like, still. time I had the opportunity to watch Lord of the Rings, we watched it in high school, and I slept for the whole time. So, nope. Unbelievable. Well, All right. Well, I like. Unbelievable. I like, I like what I like, bro. Yeah, but you don't know if you don't if you like Star Wars because <laughs> you've never true. fucking seen it. That's true. You like what you like. Uh, and the funny thing about this whole thing is we have every movie on Blu-ray DVD because I bought it for Mrs. Pluggo for a birthday present because she loves Star Wars. And you haven't even watched it with your wife? She loves that shit? You haven't even watched it with your wife? Nope. Jesus, man. I know. That's a Isn't reason that? right there. What's up, Isn't Dan? Dan, uh, Thanks man. for showing up. Just so you know, Pluggo's <laughs> never seen Star Wars. <laughs> just so, Just so you know, Dan. What we've been Again. talking about for the last 10 minutes. Plug has never seen Star Wars. Anyway. I'm definitely going to make it to Spencer's office tomorrow. Jesus. <laughs> you have a reason to watch Star Wars because your right. wife loves it. <laughs> yeah, Dan, I'll come again for you. Plug has never seen Star Wars. <laughs> anyway. Whew. I mean, we could just talk for the next half hour about fucking Star Wars. We no, could, like, but I we could. We're, no, we're not like, going to. We're not going to. One of them Darth Vader and Anakin. And one of them. Yeah. You mean the greatest cinema villain of all time? Probably Darth is Vader. That, is that true? I would. Yeah. I mean, I, I would think he's in the small discussion of the greatest. Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. I'd I've probably seen that. I mean, I would hope. It's an That's amazing cool. movie. Anyway, this is this is movie night. We're having movie night here on Between Two Beards. We're just going to talk about nine movies. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Until Quizplex. we get to Quizplex. But I do think we should go with game shows because Quizplex is a game show. Game show so the I've draft won. of game shows leading in. We cannot pick Quizplex, though. That's not fair. Um, <laughs> this this is going to be the episode because I feel like we I feel like we've started this slippery slope where he's going to start shooting out things he thinks of and ask me if I've seen them, and I probably will say no. Police Academy. I, I haven't seen all of them, but I've seen. Yeah, I was going to say I. What about the Naked I, Gun movies? Have you seen the Naked Gun movies? No, with I Leslie haven't. Nielsen? No, I haven't. All right. I don't want to do this all night because I have a feeling you're going to piss me off. So, uh, you know, I've seen my fair share of stuff. Yeah. I'm apparently cultured. everything you like, you've seen a hundred times. I and am. You don't watch other things. Very like. We, I grew up in the DVD era. I mean, I would hope, Dan. Where I, mean, I would question oh, my friendship with him if he's never seen. Oh, Happy, Happy Gilmore. Gilmore is like an all timer legend. So I, I put a, I would put like a DVD in the DVD player back in the day when I'm like, you know, just a kid, you know. Younger. Yeah, I got you. And then I would just, I was just, I would just watch it until I got sick of it, and then I put something else in. Like I'd watch the same movie like four times in a row. Uh, and I just sit there and play games and be like, ah, just put Anchorman back on. Like, I mean, whatever. Anchorman rules, dude. Yeah, Anchor see, that's what I'm saying. Like, Anchorman's dope. Why would yeah. I? Yeah, I know so, I, I mean, love Anchorman. That is such a what a way to look at things. What a way to look at things. <laughs> I like what I like, even though I, I haven't seen it. Is. So I know I don't know if I like it, I but know. I like what I like, man. Listen, I, I'm not knocking people. I'm not saying the movies suck or anything because I don't know. I'm just saying like I enjoy. Do you know how I found out that I like salmon? Eating it. I tried salmon. Yeah, that's how I found out that I like salmon. You know? That's fair. Salmon's you delicious. Know? Oh, amazing. But anyway, enough about that. Enough about the movie chatter. We only have a half hour left already because we've been going off for twenty minutes about how Plug hasn't seen friggin' Star Wars. Um, I will say though, in the chat, go ahead and throw some movies out there. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just we'll just go. Have you seen this? Have you seen this? This one? This one? Oh my god! Oh look. It is what it is, guys. But yeah, go ahead and that, chat. That was a shock to me. I, I that truly was a shock. To We've me. done I would this just show. assume this around is our, our age. 49th <laughs> episode, not including specials. I'm gonna go on record. We'll talk about it now. Then we're at the halfway point. We'll talk about some balls, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll move on. Uh, here we go. You got Legend of Bagger Vance. No, I've never seen that. That does not look like a good movie to me. Snow Dogs. Snow Dogs Two. He. Yeah. I've seen Snow Dogs One. All right. What Not about Die Hard? Any of them? Nope. We talked about that around Christmas time. I haven't seen any of them. 
You knew he, that. <laughs> Spencer is throwing out some doozies here. <laughs> He's throwing out some doozies. <laughs> Put it this way. Put it this no, way. If you, I don't even I, think I you've swear seen to that. God. I swear to God. Right now, if you would have said that you saw leaving on a jet plane the John Denver story, but you haven't seen Star Wars, Wars. it would have been a one-man show for the next 30 minutes because I would have been out of you. I would have been like, your priorities are not aligning with me. Anyway, Jesus, the erotic adventures of Hercules. I've seen some erotic adventures in my day. Spencer's Spencer's going to town right now. Man versus nature, the road to victory. Are these real movies? Yes, they are. Are you just making this shit up? If he hasn't seen Star Wars, I don't think he's seen Star Trek. No. no, Are you just not a sci-fi guy? You know, yeah, like, like, and I don't know why people get weird. Like, I just, I'm not a sci-fi guy. So why that's fine. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think sci-fi is my favorite. Uh, it's not my favorite genre of film, but like Star Wars is like that's Star not Wars, really man. Movie, this is a real oh, Sam, yeah, Son of Sanford and Son of. Sanford. Oh wow, Christmas Eight. No, but yeah, like if I'm not a fan of sci-fi, he, I know for a, a genre, fact. I know for I a watching? fact he hasn't seen any of those. I saw like the first one, but I only saw like part of it. I think they play quitting. You got kids, man. These are perfect movies. They kids. watch it. I don't watch it. They Why don't you watch movies with your kids? My wife loves Harry Potter. Our cats are named Harry and Hermione. I don't understand. I don't understand how your wife can love Starbu- Starbucks. I love how your <laughs> wife can love Star Wars and Harry Potter, but you haven't seen any of them. You have to ask her, man. No. <laughs> I'm going to ask you. You should be watching I, them with them. She's oh. not watching. I mean, she doesn't watch them on like repeat Harry Potter I know for a fact is on some channel weekly it's Truly. probably if you weekly. go through a ca- if you go through a cable like grid right now there's, some, there's a Harry on Potter movie one. on right now right and now. there's on one guarantee. channel somewhere there's a Harry Potter movie on right now I can for almost sure. guarantee it 100% almost um but anyway yeah so before we have to start our draft in 5 minutes because we've been talking about this shit for the last 25 minutes. Uh, Best show of all time. It, we are. We are, like like Lawrence said, we are the FTR. The FTR, baby. Of Love Wrestling. You think we it's are. bad this week, next week, you're going to get Well, here's what I'm going to say. So tonight is the 49th episode of Between Two Beards. That means, oh, Dan, I love you. Underrated. Daddy Murphy Daycare. Movie. Daddy, Daddy Daycare rules. Steve Zahn, Jeff Garland. That's a great, that is you, a great movie. You missed. What do you yeah. mean? You How'd missed? it go? I missed. I missed. What do you mean? What do you mean you missed? I missed. I missed. And then he just opens the door and he's like, oh, <laughs> he's like brutal. Uh, reminds me of, did you see Dumb and Dumber? Terrible movie. Yeah, that was absolutely god awful movie. But the only good part of that movie is the Bob Saget scene, RIP, Mr. Tana, Bob Saget, when he walks into the bathroom yep. and the dude yep. shits everywhere and he's just flipping. Shit. There's shit on the wall. He's just blacking out. Uh, it's the only redeeming quality of that movie. Tim, you're right. This is sad. It is sad. It's just sad. What's, What's going sad, on? What's sad, Tim? Hey, Tim, how are you? But anyway, I don't even know if we have time to talk about wrestling. We talked a little <laughs> bit. Of, we talked about the big Forbidden Door announcement. That was the big thing of the week. Um, I am excited for Dax versus Cash, though. I think yes. that's going to rule. Yes. That's going to that, rule. I, that, I want them to come out together, though. I don't want separate entrances. I want them to come out together as one entrance. And then I want them to just get in the ring and they they, they separate. And we have ourselves a good old-fashioned... Look, at WWE did this in the Cruiserweight Classic where yeah. they had Gargano and Ciampa fight each other. Yeah. Uh, and they remained, you know, partners and respect. And obviously it turned into a different story later down the line. But I think this is cool. I think this is very cool. Who do you think wins? That's the real thing. Like, if you had to pick one, you think they give it to Dax? Oh my goodness! Dax is the Bret Hart guy, so it wouldn't shock me. I mean, I think they both do are, they, but like Dax go... is like openly a huge Bret Hart guy on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, more than Cash, I feel like doesn't use Twitter a ton. Like Dax is more alive on the in the Twitter verse. Um, I don't know though. That's gonna be a great match. I hope they let him go for like 15, 20 minutes. Dan saying he hopes Cash wins. I'm happy with either one of them, to be honest with you. Oh, Fightful Gaming, thank you so much yes, for the raid. Well, our friends Joel and, and uh, Stephen, Stephen Jensen, Jensen were on there gaming earlier. They usually start about seven, a little bit before us. Yeah, so, so they thank you so much for the raid. Mario Kart. Uh, I think he was they, play, they were playing Fortnite tonight. They're playing Fortnite tonight, but they do a lot of Mario Kart, a lot of good stuff. But thank you all for the Fightful Gaming good raid. People, uh, you can find people. me over on Fightful, overbooked occasionally. I pop in for guest spots uh, here or there as well. So those are good friends of us here at uh, 
Love wrestling. Joel Park, Joel Pearl, Shout hop in the chat. We love you too, buddy. Hope new, you're doing new, well new over father, there. Getting, a, the getting, a, yeah, new dad. I was gonna say. Hope you're trying to get enough sleep over there. Yeah. Being a new dad. So congratulations <laughs> on that. Love you, buddy. If you need Thank advice, you for, uh, I got the, you, yeah, plugo has got four of them. So four. I'm sure you're doing more than fine, Joel. You're a yeah. swell guy. <laughs> but if you need advice, advice, talk to the guy that doesn't watch movies with his kids. I so, watch uh, movies. We watch. Free oh, for anybody in the Fightful Raid that just got here, and this was the last oh, time I'll, ra I'll rag on Plugo, we found out earlier in the stream, which is why we had talked about basically everything but wrestling this 35 <laughs> minutes, that Plugo's never seen Star Wars. How this started That's all. was we were looking for a draft That's all. topic because we have a hard hour tonight. <laughs> we do. Stick around for quiz <laughs> plays do. with Kyle, <laughs> yeah. the Fitz, and Stuart Garvey. And somebody mentioned, yeah, sleep. What is sleep? Trust exactly. Me. It it's few and far between. Fight Club, yes. Forrest Gump, yeah. Forrest Gump, yes. Homeward Bound, of course. Homeward so basically, Bound. we they said let's do Avenger or comic book movies or characters or superheroes, and I said I would be able to name five because I don't watch that stuff. And it spiraled into. It spiraled I've never into, seen what Star about Star Wars? Wars? I didn't even ask him. He just said he's never seen Star Wars, and I went, "Excuse me." <laughs> and I Excuse just got. Me. I and here you and go. I, there you go. That's the wife coming in here saying you're lame. That's what I, she's saying. I, I texted her. And Dissension I said, getting, in the ranks. I'm getting flamed online for my <laughs> lack flamed. of movie knowledge. Yeah, he's getting flamed. I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not flaming you for your lack of movie knowledge. I'm flaming you for your lack of not watching movies. <laughs> and I said, and she goes, as she I'm not. Said, I, if you said, if you said, hey, I saw the Star Wars movies, not for me. I'd be like, all right, well, that's your opinion. I'm like the fact that you've never seen them. Never seen them. But I'm not gonna live a lie. I've never seen him. I and appreciate Mrs. your Plug, own. Mrs. Plugo is fun. here to corroborate that story because Astor didn't believe me. Thought I was joking. Nope. Oh, sorry, it's bad. Mrs. Plugo Mrs. is Mrs. Plugo. She... You gotta get. You gotta. He says that you love Star Wars and you love Harry Potter, and he's seen none of either of those movies. Y'all need to have a weekly movie night or something and get his ass up to shape. What is happening here? I got homework. For yeah, the next, you like, should. Six months. We're gonna have. I want. I need you to send me book reports of <laughs> double space. Of yes. For double everybody, space everybody book that reports. has hopped in that wants to talk wrestling, though, give us your takes on the Forbidden yes. Door. Let forbidden us know Door pay per view. Matches. Yeah. Let us know movies you think I should see, or if I ask if I have. We've got a hard hour tonight. We are very excited for Quizplex tonight with our friend Kyle Davis, my friend Kyle Davis. I love Kyle. Kyle, if you're watching, hi. I'm going to be in the chat. I got all the answers. I stole them off of Zach's desk. It's going to be a big night here, Love Wrestling. So after we're done at 9, stick around for Zach, Kyle, the Fitz, Stuart Garvey. Quizplex is going to be off the chain. Yeah. And uh, my thing is, if you're watching us right now or you come over from Fightful, we're going to be having a draft soon. We're going to do a game show draft. And the reason why we're going to do game shows tonight is because at 9 o'clock, following us on this very channel is a game show is a game show love wrestling's own game show quizplex yes and Although, those that i know are you new, just kind of mentioned no, no, it but new to the show new to the show yeah we, we talk about everything from wrestling to we talked about basketball or football next week we're going to do a nfl watch along for the first round so we're going to be on the whole time partying it's what we do it we is do it can i, can, I can some, talk your ear we, off about the Bellas. Yeah, and she talks my ear off about the Bellas. And I, that's why I don't have time to watch Star Wars. But, okay, yeah. Fine. <laughs> blame, blame the wife. Blame the wife. For the that's record, funny. the I've never seen it. The, the Legend of Bagger Vance is with uh, one yeah, William Matt, Smith and Matt Damon. Matt Damon, yeah, I've heard of um, But yeah, all right. So we got, it's, we got about 20 minutes left. Let's get through our sponsors. Let's have ourselves a game show draft. And let's get out of here at a reasonable time so Quizplex can do its damn thing and have a great show. Does that sound good to everybody? That sound good to you? Sure. We sure. always have a great show. We I mean, yeah. Have, I mean, we're, look at, we are now I, this has been thoroughly enjoyable for me, getting a rag on you for once about I know. your your Lawrence movie selections. Gave us a new, Lawrence gave us a new tagline to go with. We are I, we are the FTR the, of the, Love Wrestling. The FTR of Love Wrestling. So we're going to run um, with that for sure. Yeah. But... If, for the if, time am being, I Dax or my cash? Who are you? Who are you going with? I think I'd probably be Dax. Okay, I'll be. Cash. I think I'd go Dax. You go cash. I think you get. Okay. Yeah, right. that's a, that's right. how I feel about that. All right, let's do it. But you've heard us talking about this for for a while now. But if you go head on over to Manscaped.com 
and you type in the promo code love wrestling, you will receive 20% off not your 10. order. Not 10, not 20. 15, 20 percent off plus free shipping worldwide you can be anywhere you can be in the north pole antarctica you can be over across the sea in japan you can be where we are in the states doesn't matter where you are free shipping worldwide 20 percent off wide wide 20 <laughs> percent off on your order over at manscape.com with that promo code love wrestling um You've let seen a lot know of. You sent a, we sent you. Yeah, let them know that between two beards sent you. Let them know that love wrestling, love wrestling sent, you. sent you. Let them know that you're liking our little, our little agree, our little, uh, little, little, little brain fart. Little, our word, little partnership. Partnership, we got going yeah, on. that we got going on with them. They got great products, whether it be the lawnmower 4.0. They have the crop preserver, which is some ball deodorant. Oh, they got I love. Yep, yeah, they got ball wipes. They even got stuff that has nothing to do with down there. They got nose hair trimmers. They got skin care. They ear got hair, shampoo. Ear hair trimmer. Air hair trimmer. They got anything you need to keep. Fresh. Yourself looking fresh, yourself looking beautiful, and yourself looking nice. Everyone feels better when they're maintained and cleaned, especially gentlemen, when we got what's going on down there, looking and feeling pretty good. Not only does it make us feel good, it makes your partner feel good too. Your partner you will appreciate it. marathon watching 19 Star Wars Exactly. Exactly. When you're Netflix and there. chilling, it's better if, you know, everything's going well. So again, love wrestling promo code manscape.com 20 20 percent off and free shipping worldwide. All right, Plugo. Game show draft, man. <laughs> um I will let I had first pick last week. I had first pick last week for the baseball movie draft, which I annihilated you in. I absolutely. don't think so, man. I absolutely it annihilated. On the socials today. I don't so care what those back. heathens think. Those are our fans, man. Well, I appreciate them, but you know what? I had Sandlot and the League of Their Own as the first two rounds. The draft's over. Over. The draft is over. I don't know, dude. You're sleeping on Bull Durham. I love Bull Durham, but it's just not as good as those first two. I got Major League in the third round, bro. Bro, anyway. I, I went Kevin Costner. Heavy. You did. You that, went. The first is, three picks were all. That Costner. is a handsome man that probably uses I landscape. Fully product. agree. That dude I fully is well agree. groomed. Well groomed. All right, Plugo. I will give you the first pick of this draft. It is a game easy. show. This is easy. This all shuts right. it down, and you win it with this. The all price right. is right. The price is right. Easy. That's a great one. That is a great one. What the price is right? Tim said I lost already. Tim just just a hater gonna hate. It's all right. He he did he last night on the all lead sidecast. He said for one dollar he would RKO me on my front lawn because we are going to Warrior Wrestling together. I mean, if he can pull that off. But if we get if we get one sub right now, I will let him do it and we'll videotape it for all the socials. That's pretty good. If he if he if you can make that happen, that would be dope. That'd be yeah. dub if you can make that sub happen. sub right now to the Love Wrestling Twitch channel. Get our beautiful faces and emojis and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'll let I'll let I'll get our our KO'd. Look at here's the thing, right? Your pick of the price is right. It's excellent. That's an excellent yeah. pick. A fantastic. Anytime you anytime, and I think people that are here of all ages, when you stay home from school, yeah. what did you do? You damn right you watch the price is right. That's what you did. Um the price so is wrong. That's a good one. Bitch. Yeah, that's a the price is wrong, oh, bitch. bitch. Uh that's a really good one. Uh with my first pick, I take RIP. <laughs> I'm gonna take uh Jeopardy with my man Alex Trebek. That's what I'm taking. Jeopardy. I gotta move it to the oh, did, did did Love Wrestling gift a sub? Did Spencer spend money to see Tim RKO me on my front lawn? Yeah, Tim, I moved it to the front lawn because Mrs. Plugo ain't want that bloodshed in her house. We ain't doing that, dude. That's fair. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Keep it classy. <laughs> and here we go. Hey, thanks for the gifting of sub at Love Wrestling. <laughs> very bizarre. Very bizarre. Like Spencer says, I think it's funny we still get the automated. Ma yeah, very, very. Uh, well, I guess you know? we'll do it. we're going to make that happen Saturday. So be prepared to see that on social media. Yeah. Way to go. All right. My first round pick is Jeopardy. 
that's a that's a good one. I ben, just ben. watched uh, White Men Can't Jump the other night too. Yeah, with Rosie ben, Perez trying ben, to get on Jeopardy. That's a big, got... it's like secondary plot line in that movie. That's a great movie. Fantastic um, movie. Yeah. All right, second round pick, Plugger. It's the win with that because he's a uh, duh. It's it's on in like twenty minutes. Quizplex. I told you we can't pick. Quiz Why play. can't we pick Squid? Because we can't. Points. I'm trying not to uh, get tired of it. No, no, right, no. Bye. We don't fucking suck up here. That's not uh, what we do. We <laughs> hey, don't do that shit. I'm the one that's on the line here. Always. Are you? Quizplex is our own channels. We hey, can't do that. That's not. Sex. Yeah, but all right, come on. All right, fine. All right, fine. Fine. I made that rule very early on. No Quizplex. Wheel of Fortune. Oh. Can I buy a vowel? Vanna White, Pat Sajak, dude. It's a it's a staple. It's an all time. It is. It oh, is. Freaking timer. It is. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a little. Uh, so this this was a game show that I loved when I was a kid. It yeah. no longer exists. I'm going double dare. That's Ooh, right. that's where I was about to. I'm get. going double dare. I that's see a, your. I see your double dare. And I you raise you guts. guts. Yeah, I knew you yeah. were gonna do it. I knew you were gonna do it. Uh, I was like, ah, oh, I gotta start the trend going, of Nickelodeon. Going, Wild and crazy going. kids, bro. Let's go. That show was the best. <laughs> Wild and crazy kids. Oh yeah. When I you when when it. all right when we were all kids, and this is for the chat too. If you did, if you were around that age, how much, how badly did you want to be a Wild and Crazy Kids? Oh, dude. oh my god, I would have killed anybody. Oh, I would have like, I would have done anything. To be on Wild and Crazy Anything. Kids. You, that show doesn't exist now because you can't do some of the stuff. That no. Yeah. No. You, no. You can't just subject your kid to no. that these days. <laughs> no. But Wild and Crazy Kids ruled. I'm not picking that with my third pick. Oh, But okay. uh, that show ruled. Uh, all right. Oh, this one's tough. But this is uh, a really a favorite of mine when I was a kid. No whammy, no whammy. Pressure luck. Ooh. Pressure I didn't luck. I expect to see that come off of the board. Pressure luck was a favorite of mine. Well, I love the no whammy. I love, I don't know if you've seen, there's a really good documentary about a dude that found out the alg the algorithm. So he went on the show and he he knew from studying millions of shows and tapes when it was gonna be the jackpot every time. And he ended up winning like the most money in the history of the show. They made a documentary out of it. Fantastic. I love how you I love how you started that with uh have you seen the stock? I know I shouldn't ask you. You haven't seen freaking Star Wars. Come on, bro. Come on, how the bro. God. The price is right was my first pick. I went the price is right is your first pick, and, and then you the, got I Wheel got of Fortune, Fortune and, guts. and Guts. Heck yeah, dude. The aggro crag, bro. You would have picked Quizplex. I think we all, both of us, would have had Quizplex as the first overall pick. Of course. But, but we took that off the board. We're going to exclude that from the draft today. because you guys can all watch Quizplex right after us in about 10 to 12 minutes from now. I'm gonna, and then you, you'll you understand why we would have drafted it one. I'm going to go. And this I is your fourth pick. We got we got two more picks oh each. God. Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, that's a good one, dude. That that's show when it like first that show was a phenomenon. Uh, it was insanity. a phenomenon. I loved it every week. I was like, all right, I gotta see it. I gotta see it. And they'd always leave, read just always leave you on that cliffhanger. Come back next week and see if they yeah. can get to the million. Remember when the guy, the first guy that won the million, he <laughs> called his dad to just say, "Hey, I don't need your help on this. <laughs> just I'm just calling you to let you know I'm gonna win the million. I was like, what a <laughs> boss move that was just whipped it on the table yeah could you imagine if you imagine did, that oh get, uh, like i need to use a lifeline i gotta call i gotta call my friend oh you call my dad all right <laughs> last question a million bucks let's do it and he's like yeah i don't need you i just want to let you i just want to call and let you know that i'm gonna win the million bucks so i was like what a boss what a boss um all right i'm going back to the nintendo uh not nintendo the nickelodeon route uh-oh I'm taking really? Legends ah, of is. the Hidden Temple. Be honest. If I would have took Millionaire, would you have taken it? No, I would have taken Legends so of I the Hidden Temple. I would have took Temple. Legends because that was going to be my next move. If you would have taken Legends of the Hidden Table, oh, like, baby, the Hidden I got... Temple, I would have gone elsewhere, but I would not have taken If okay. I would not have taken Millionaire. If, if, if Millionaire was a, the last pick was still there, I probably would have taken it. Okay. But, yeah, because no. I was definitely thinking that. Um, 
You JBJ cannot. There we go. Dan saying, true. and JBJ wins with that. Uh, uh, look at. Well, I'm look gonna at, go with You can't. You can't mess around there. with the blue barracudas, bro. You no, can't. Or the no, silver no, snakes, no, red snakes. parrots, and sh red monkeys. I'm sorry, purple parrots. Come on. Supermarket sweep. Oh, it's a great show for the win, baby. They brought it back though, and it sucks. It's not. Like yeah, it, was it wasn't great. Uh, but that was a great show. Supermarket sweep is a great, great show. <laughs> Welcome to Love Wrestling, where we have <sighs> talked about minimal wrestling today. Literally, we talked about like 10 minutes of wrestling to start the show, and then we went NXT off on movies game? and games. NXT show. is a game show. It, it was. Ooh, the what do I do here? Tough enough. What do I do? I'll just what throw do shit I do? out there. You got tough enough out there. Shop Dude. till you drop was a good mm. one. You know what? I got to stick with it. It's one of the all timers to me. It hasn't been said yet. The match game. I'm going Family Feud, dude. Ooh, I'm taking yeah. Family Feud to round this sucker out. I'm that's taking a, Family that's Feud. That's a good shout. I like that one. That's a Steve Harvey's the Steve Harvey. I mean, if, if you and uh, look at there's a tie-in in the early '90s when Ray Combs, God rest his soul, uh, was the host. They had wrestling like Macho Man was on there. Repo Man was on there. Like they had like you know the good guys versus the bad guys. Ray Combs did the. Uh, Entry, I think it was Wrestle. Was it a WrestleMania about, or a SummerSlam or something like that? I think weakest, Ray Combs. Weakest Link. The Weakest Link was good. Yeah, Kane was on there. Yeah. Uh, you are the Weakest Link. Goodbye. The, new, the Newlywed Show. The Newlywed Show was really good. Uh, the yeah. Match Game, also match a game. fantastic show. There's um, a lot of great. There's a lot of really good shows. game shows. There's um, a reason there's a game show network. We we didn't we mentioned it, but like Wild and Crazy Kids could have been on there. Um, Man, there was what? a what was it called? And maybe somebody in the chat will know. There was a on Nickelodeon, there was like a video game based. Oh, Nick Arcade, bro. Yeah, yeah, okay. It was a, one of the best it. game shows of yeah, all time. Yeah, Nick Arcade always, ruled. I always wanted to be on that. I thought, yeah, and then at the end, you would go in the thing and you were like on a green yep. screen and you were like playing in a giant video game. Oh, yep, fantastic. I thought, I thought those kids were super cool, and I was like, yep. man, I'll never get to experience that. Yep, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, but anyway, like we did last week, we'll throw that on the socials. You guys can vote for me to win again because I'm going to win. I'm just kidding. But uh, no, this one was a little more even, a little more even. But because uh, there's a because that's the thing, like game shows and television, but with television from the beginning of time, game shows. Mm -hmm. So there's probably thousands we didn't even think of that could be like Deal or No Deal was a lot right. of fun to watch. Deal or No yeah, Deal is like, a good one. We didn't talk about that one. We didn't talk about. I, I, win, just, ben, win Ben Stein's. Yeah, money. I liked Win Ben Stein's money. That was a good one. I like. There that was one. a there was an ESPN one. Stump the Schwab. Yeah. What about uh, Shop Till You Drop? That I, used to I be on after su Supermarket yep. Sweep. I mentioned that while you were thinking of your last pick. Oh, I, what, did you? That was a good show. Yeah, and then like you know, you, this real Survivor can be considered a game show. Sure. That's I mean, LJ, I don't know, watch that like stuff, but like, show. yeah, like Big Brother. Like, there's th yeah. those are technically game shows as well. They're flavor. just longer. Oh, like Flavor of Love? Yeah. The Bachelor. <laughs> the Bachelor. The Bachelorette. Hell yeah. Dude. That's I, I don't know. That's more reality TV based. But yeah. But they are shows. game yeah. shows though. Yes. Ooh, I haven't watched. Uh, for newer ones, I haven't watched The Chase. No. I would say the one that you watched, The Rat in the Kitchen, that's a game show. I uh, Is it Cake? I watched that. That's yeah. a cooking game show. Those are, it's all. A ton of game well, shows. Yeah. It's basically um, what reality TV game shows. That's that's the bread and butter of television. I like it. I like it. All right, we got about five minutes or so here. So uh, obviously, ask us some, ask us some wrestling. Yeah, questions. If you want to talk about wrestling for five minutes, uh, let us know in the chat what you want to talk about. We did we did obviously touch on the Forbidden Door announcement by Tony Khan. That was the big big wrestling news of the week. Obviously, we just shout out real quick the Zeke Kevin Owens Chad Gable segment from Raw. Fantastic, How fantastic that I, was. The three of I, them were making chicken salad out of chicken. People chicken. still want to shit on this Ezekiel thing. I think speak with Zeke. Yeah. If you I find no problem with it. It has been entertaining as hell. It's been funny. Kevin Owens is amazing. Chad Gable is amazing. Ezekiel Elias, whatever you want to call him, has been really good so far. That has been very enjoyable to me. Uh obviously the idea of it is like, yeah, I get it. It's stupid. And like I, I understand, but I think they've been doing great things. Um and if, yeah. and if Alex was here right now. I'd have him clip this entire segment as we finish out. 
but I've been talking up Kyle Davis being on Quizplex. Here oh yeah, do it. Five minutes. Here's your keys to success, Kyle. Wait, hold on. We gotta we gotta do it so we can prep it. So this is Plugos key. This is former Quizplex champion Plugo. Thank you. Thank you. Former Quizplex champion Plugo. I I wasn't a former Quizplex champion. I was on it once. I finished second. Yeah. So I'm not a champion. Plugo, former Quizplex champion. Helping out his boy with Plugos tips. And for anyone in the chat, who knows? You might be on Quizplex at some point in the future, too. Take so notes. get your notepads out, get your pencil. These are Plugos winning tips for Quizplex. So when you're on Quizplex, you're going to notice the Zach's alien like appearance. Don't mention it, or he'll get frustrated and take points away from you. That's mm -hmm. stuff. So just acknowledge him as a human being. Don't call him Zark. That's tip one. Tip two, arm bar. Arm bar. That's all I'm going to say. Three, find you a good scorekeeper, and for the right price, they'll throw a couple points on the board for you. 30 bucks, I hear is the going rate. I've never had to do that. No, we're all natural over here on Between Two be Beards. We That's are right. all we, natural. We performance enhancers are not what we do. Tip four, arm bar. Arm bar. Arm bar. And tip five, just dominate. Real simple. Rule number 76, no excuses. Play like a champion and you'll win Quizplex. Those are Clear eyes, full hearts, but, can't lose, guys. Yes, can't lose. Tip. But tip one is the most important. Don't acknowledge the alien-like exterior because he will get mad and he will throw you off the set. And you don't want that. You can't get thrown off a Quizplex. So just, acknowledge, just let no. him. Zach is, too, uh, Zach is very nice, too. He would never throw you off. Yes. But... He but. will. He at after the show, he will show you his alien like thing. Like he will be upset. <laughs> he, will. he will be upset. <laughs> it's like that he scene in uh Men in Black when he shoots him in the head and his head. Yeah. yeah. You don't want that. You don't want that. Got your head's sugar. not gonna go. You got, got any, any sugar. sugar? Sugar, water, water, sugar. You got any sugar? <laughs> so those Tonight are the very movie movie themed yeah. episode. Yes. I hope there's and a next, movie section on Quizbox tonight. I don't next, know. But... Next week is gonna be our 50th no, episode. No. No, I'm stopping this. Uh -oh. Next week, uh -oh. technically, will be the 50th week in a row that you will have seen Plugo and I on Thursday night. Which is however, incredible. however, next week is the NFL draft. Yes. And Plugo and I have decided that we are going to do a watch along for the whole first round of the NFL wrestling draft. Wrestling and football. And we'll to talk wrestling during it. Obviously, there's plenty of times while teams are deciding what to do. So there's going to be plenty of times to talk about the week in wrestling in between the picks but next week i'm not calling we're i'm gonna I'm not gonna say i'm we're even though i'm making the decision right now yeah, i, I, didn't, I didn't inform plug of this no we're not gonna call it the between two beards 50th episode extravaganza next week is going to be a between two beards special nfl draft watch along and then the following week oh. will be the official and you know why that is? Because we episode. do what we want around here. Numbers yes. mean nothing to us. Correct. That's right. Budget. So next numbers. week, yes, it might be the 50th time you've seen us, but we're going to be focused on the NFL draft and just chatting with you guys and stuff and like that. And we're going to talk Love Pro Wrestling 3, which is coming oh, up on the 29th. You're, gonna damn, be, right. Not, You're damn right. You're damn right. We're going to talk about gonna, it. We're going to talk about everything. Wrestling, football, movies. Maybe I'll watch one of these movies. But yes, Kyle... Fitz, Stewart, do not mention alien-like exteriors or strange lights coming from behind Zach. Just stick to do stick it. to the script. Kyle, I gave you the answers. Arm bar is important. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we, I don't know how All we right. still have We got about a minute and a half to get out. But yes, next week, 8 p.m. Yep, we'll probably hop on just a few minutes, maybe a minute or two early because the draft starts right at 8 but we'll be here, same time, same channel. It's going to be a longer episode. That first round draft goes till 11, 12. We're going to be here for a bit. Uh, gonna so hop in. We're going to we have, have some, some fun. Guests. We're going to chat some wrestling. We might have some guests popping in if certain teams are drafting. We're going. To, it's going to be a really good time. Uh, I do want to thank RK Athletics. Obviously, you can see the logo in the corner here. Follow them on social medias everywhere uh, at RK Athletics 1. Rich King is a great dude doing great things in personal training and getting people in better shape. Uh, stay tuned in just under a minute, right on this very channel, you're going to see Zach 
you're going to see probably Spencer popping in and out, and you're going to see Kyle Davis, Fitz, and Stuart Garvey. Was that Stuart the Garvey? I Love nailed Pro it. Wrestling, three referees. Yes. yes, yes, those are the referees for Love Pro Wrestling. You're going to see all three of them uh, on Quizplex. And so, shout out to Fightful Gaming for the raid earlier. Absolutely, Go check those guys out. They're awesome people. Follow us at B Two Beards on Twitter, Facebook. We need to get an Instagram. I always want to say Instagram. We don't have mm. it, but we got on TikTok. We're killing it on TikTok. Shout out to Alex, who's on vacation this week. He has he's been producing those awesome clips you've been seeing on our socials. So yeah, do all that. Follow me at Plugo. What do you got? You can find me normal Three, stuff, all two, these sidecasts, one. and here next week. But we'll see you. Quizplex Please. starts now. Bye.